and today I'm going to be talking about Love Lies Beneath by Ellen Hopkins. Ellen Hopkins is one of my favorite authors so I highly suggest reading this. This book is a I novel guess, from I her. Am. She does have some young adult books too um, like for the Crank series, the Burn series, and the Impulse series so I'd suggest looking at them. Um, so the Let's see. Let's. I'm going to read the passage it gives. So it is. Uh, once a widow, twice divorced. Imagine. Tara is a woman with a past. She prefers to keep to herself. She's gorgeous and affluent and content living alone in her flawless Russian Hill mansion in San Francisco. That is until she meets Cabin Lattimore, the charming surgeon who operates on her after a ski accident in Lake Tahoe. In the weeks it takes her to recover, Cabin sweeps Tara off her feet and the relationship blossoms into something she never imagined. He's stunning and she's smitten. But as her love life flourishes, Tara starts to notice some strange and suspicious incidents. A van parked outside her home at an unusual time, a break-in, threatening text messages and distressing emails, and she can't help but take note of the cracks in Cabin's seemingly perfect persona, including the suppressed rage his convincing teenage son brings out, convincing, sorry, teenage son brings out in him. Housebound and on crutches, Tara finds herself dependent on the new man in her life, perhaps to a dangerous degree. Meanwhile, she's juggling difficult relationships with her sister and best friend, both of whom are envious of her glamorous life and financial freedom, her irritable bro brother-in-law who longs for her wealth and power, and her estranged mother. Music however, perfect Tara, reimagine. however perfect Tara's life may appear, new events are starting to expose what lies beneath. And then the back says, so this is what love feels like, powerful, elemental, and it's so new that I'm watery about what to do with it, but I refuse to let it go. I don't dare destroy it, and certainly veering away from fidelity would crush this devotion like chalk into dust. I've mastered impulse control, but this isn't about proving something to myself or anyone else. This is about accepting a deep human need that I've relentlessly closed myself off from. I'm not positive I can manage it, but I'm damn sure I'm going to try. So the book is about basically Tara. She uh, goes on a ski trip with her s sister. And the first day she's there, she gets uh, hit in the back by someone um, as she's skiing. Um, they, like, he runs right into her and she ends up busting her knee. Um, so she ends up getting flied to a hospital and she meets Kevin. And she's already, like, I don't even know I how to describe I, uh... her personality when it comes to relationships. She seems a little um, promiscuous. So she, like, there's a, a scene in the beginning of the book where she's at a bar and this guy across the room, she's there with her friend and this guy across the room, like, has eyes for her. So she Music goes, licensing um, he, imagine. like, buys her a drink and her friend ends up leaving so that she can be with this guy and she ends up sleeping with him, like, right away. Um, so they, that's how they show her relationship-wise where she has been married uh two times before both her husbands died or no her first husband died her second husband um is a politician which is kind of yeah. yeah um the book was I very interesting it really graspy but i was very disappointed in that thing i gotta tell you um there is a second book, so I hope that goes into detail on why they, like, left the end- she left the ending as it was. Um, I feel that it would have been more interesting if it was, Music like, her, the reason why she was so paranoid the whole entire time with all the phone calls and stuff like that wasn't because of what happened at the end, which I'm not gonna say because that's gonna ruin the book. Um, but- yeah, I was a little disappointed in that, um, but overall the book was very well written. Um, the, so if you look at, this is a hardcover book, um, the chapters aren't very long, so like the first one okay, is, so let's see, the first chapter is six pages long, and I feel like that's probably, like the longest chapter was probably like ten pages, which isn't too bad, um. And it does only stick with one person. I know a lot of Ellen Hopkins books, she it bounces from person to person. And um, the chapter of the book will tell you, like, what person. But no, this is just one person. Um, there is a lot of sexual scenes in there. Artless if you guys I aren't aware of it. Like, don't like reading books like that. It's not... I don't want to say it's erotic, like, erotica. But there's, like, certain scenes where, like, she's sleeping with someone or cabin and it goes into a little detail it's not like too bad but it's still like if it makes you uncomfortable i would music either licensing reimagined yeah um but overall i think let me see if i wrote a review on goodreads 
um and also i do post all the books that i read in the month or when i finish reading i post the book and i will leave my goodreads account so if you want to follow my instagram where i post my books that i read um it will be somewhere on the screen otherwise it's in the description below um so my books let's see you read okay so i gave this book a four out of five stars and i feel like it was because of the end Thing, and I wrote wow what a twist because I probably didn't feel like writing anything um let's see this one doesn't have spoilers so I'm gonna read the first comment this one is by Melissa Music and she read it in four stars imagined. and she wrote I'm kind of embarrassed to admit how long this book has been sitting on my shelf patiently waiting for a little bit of attention for some reason I let the, the not so fat Favorable reviews sway me, and what a mistake that turned out to be. Just goes to show no two people ever read the same book. Above all else, for me, Tara's story was fun, refreshing, surprising, and even a tad suspenseful. I, I agree with her. Three divorces and some savvy investments. I think they said two divorces. She had two, yeah, she had two divorces and a death. Yeah, so it was a death and two divorces, so um, that person is wrong, just to let you know. Um... Tara is 40, well off, gorgeous, and living in a prestigious San Francisco neighborhood. She's the first to admit she's never been in love, despite the three husbands she shared her years with. She's confident, blunt, and never shies away from telling the truth, and just, well, most of the time. Uh, do lies of omission count? There's not many people we can say they would rather tell the truth, and waste time lying to, stop, lying to make someone feel better. Some people might call that harsh, straddling the line between honesty and being mean, but from Tara's perspective, it was kind of liberating. Forget playing coy or the fear that she was going to push someone away when Tara wanted answers, she went for it. Is she the most lovable character? Certainly not, and I agree with that. <laughs> Something has to be said for her strength and resilience, though. Um, one that they're talking about, like, the lie, when she's talking about the, um, the waste, licensing waste time lying to someone to make them feel better, I totally, like, she is like that, but she does lie to hide things. Um, she also is very revengeful if you, when you read the book. Just when she least expects to have her heart stolen, Tara meets Kevin, a dreamy doctor with a house in Tomball. He seems perfect. And in their intense chemistry, witty banter, and his charming nature, and there's a ton of promise. Naturally, my first thought was, how in the heck is this guy single? My second, okay, what's wrong with him? Throw Kevin's semi-estranged 17-year-old son, Eli, into the mix, and things get pretty interesting. Maybe even a tattoo be it. I yeah, there is really creepy aspects to Eli. Um, the author manages to weave in a little mystery with the rocky father-son relationship. Who should Tara believe? And the very real possibility that Tara might have a stalker. You have to wonder, is there something more sinister going on than meets the eye? Is Tara making a huge mistake the one and only time she's truly given her heart away? Can love connect two people infinitely? And she wrote, an epic battle this is not. I thought it should be more akin to a guilty pleasure. It, yeah, it is. That's probably why I gave it four stars too. Um, a, re a read just for the sake of enjoyment, exactly what the doctor ordered after my last disaster of a pick, and that ending, uh, a little open-ended, a tad rush, but more importantly, riddled with unexpected revelations. Exactly what I said. Oh my. I only wish I could get a tiny peek into the future. Looks like I might get that chance next year with the release of the second book. So, so um, yeah, I totally agree with Melissa on, um, what she felt about the ending. That is exactly why I gave it four stars. Artless um, I. O. so, yeah, um, if you guys are interested in Goodreads, it is free. You can just download it on your phone, and this is what it looks like when you, like, the, when I look up this, uh, Love Lies Beneath by Ellen Hopkins. Now, it is in my reading shelf, which is what this is, um, and I already have it rated, and it shows the ratings and how many people have rated it, and, um, Artless I. if you click like this, this is the bookshelves. These have all my books on it. Um, and yeah, um, and then you go down, you see me and my husband, that's my profile picture, my review, and then you can see all the other reviews and other books too. Um, but yeah, so I Music would highly recommend this book to read. It is a guilty pleasure. It isn't really a good novel, but, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Ta-ta!